were working up this valley, I turned around and saw a ram right behind us, about 680 yards away. Just spotted a ram that looks heavy. But we're looking up at it. <coughs> so it's definitely full curl looking up at it. We counted him for sure at seven, but we could not see that eighth. He's like right there within quarter of an inch, it looks like, on everything. When it comes to hunting, the place is as much of a draw to me as the animal I'm chasing. Spotted first sheep of the trip, right on this ridge over here. Giant mountains, seemingly endless wilderness, and a pursuit well beyond the bounds of civilization are what call to the sheep hunter. This kind of hunt requires a sacrifice both physically and mentally. You have to immerse yourself in the landscape, Carry what you need on your back and accept the challenge that lies ahead. These mountains are beautiful, yet very humbling. There wasn't as much water as we were thinking, and I am sweaty. So we're gonna drop down to the snow patch here, fuel up, fill up, little recovery, and then on the road. Just knowing that there are many ridges that are completely unscalable, weather that changes and bends you to its will, distances that are measured in days, not hours of hiking, and all the while it entices you, the allure of a ram in the next basin maybe over the next ridge, through the thick brushy valley, or on that neighboring peak. That's why we're addicted to it. It's like a punishment rush that you don't get doing anything else. It's pretty incredible. And then you get these views. Absolutely insane. We've got good weather today too. At this point, we're over a two day hike into where we want to be hunting the first day. We've climbed 12,000 vertical feet already, and the hunt is just getting started. I'm hoping that like, the plan is to try to find a legal ram, and then that gives us the opening day to make a move. The weather took a nasty turn of wet and cold, just adding to the challenge. Everything is soaked gun, clothes, everything. I'm crawling in my sleeping bag. <sighs> Try to dry it out. Oh, burr. We got real wet yesterday, but it stopped raining, so we're gonna pack up our stuff and head up over the saddle. And while most people make the play of holding tight or waiting it out, Time really is not on our side, so we choose to continue pushing on in the rain, knowing that we need to be on the mountain to have a chance. We spotted some rams, we're just gonna go get a better look. The 
there was one ram that we just couldn't get a really good look at. It might be an older ram. He's just real heavy, big body. So we want to get a look at him close up, maybe put an age on him. If he's not legal, just going to keep going. We've got a lot of mountain range to cover and just going to give it our best. We pretty much burned a whole day waiting for this ram. Everything is absolutely perfect. We've got the rams 400 yards below us, but it doesn't appear to be legal. So the hunt continues, such a bummer. It's just a perfect setup. He's really close too. Every ram is just right there, but does not fit the bill for the ram we're looking for. The theme is close, but not close enough. Just under full curl or one year too young every time. We make the decision to work our way around the mountain and search for a different sheep. The big move paid off. We find another ram that looks like he might be legal. risk the chance of not being able, running out of time to analyze him, in which case we can't shoot him. Or we risk the case of pushing it so we have the time and blowing him out. We just don't know. Just, we gotta make decisions, you know? I don't know. Probably gonna be socked in with weather tomorrow. over this morning and the ram that we saw yesterday is not where he was. We're about to where he was last night. He's not here, just the just a mountain goat. So we're gonna pop over this ridge, see if he's still around or if he just completely vanished. disappointing outcome this morning. Yeah, I think you're doing the right thing and just didn't pan out the ram. We can't find him, so he either moved or is just somewhere we can't see. I think our decision is we're gonna drop down and like we're out of days, so we're gonna do one giant push, go as far up the valley as we can, kind of where we were headed before. Probably walking all day into the night. <laughs> With limited time left, I felt like finding a legal ram was a near impossible feat. But I had hope that the big effort into new country was gonna be worth it. We are heading across the valley. This is our Hail Mary attempt. It's just our last opportunity. All the moments have led to this point. We climbed over 30,000 vertical feet, been soaking wet and cold the majority of the time. It's worth the effort. Hiked nearly 50 miles, and now we have a new good-looking ram at the top of a mountain. Everything right now points to this last play as being the one we've worked so hard for. Come all this way to make a last day play like this. Looked over a lot of rams that were just not quite there. And you're just praying that this one makes it.
like at this point, we've been persistent. We just haven't had any luck. And if this one ends up being legal, just an answered prayer, because we put in the time. right there within quarter of an inch it looks like on everything I mean it could be could have easily been a little bit different story on this hunt I really put in the miles I got soaked saw some incredible mountains slept under rocks had my crosshairs on rams ate wild blueberries crossed the path of large bears climbed over 40,000 vertical feet saw things few ever will, encountered sheep just under legal, which caused me to work harder and hike further into the mountains. Pushing me both mentally and physically to the brink. Oh <laughs> the sun touched my face. <laughs> Like, that's all you get. <laughs> that was glorious. 